Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with another episode of 60 Minute Trophy Challenge. Last time we went to Sir Verhonga Savannah and ended up getting ourselves an albino lion. And, uh, well, I won't tell you guys whether or not it ended up winning, but you'll have to go watch that video if you want to find that out. However, we're gonna go ahead and start episode number 19, I believe, and let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see which reserve we get today. It seems like we are going to be on Leighton Lakes. Okay, that is going to be a pretty good one, actually. And I do really want to get a big, rare black tail deer. So this is actually going to work out fine. And there we go. The clock has started. 60 minutes to get ourselves a diamond or gold scoring rare in multiplayer Leighton Lakes. And we do it in multiplayer so that we can't know that there is anything on our map. Because if it's my own map, there's always a chance that I might know already that there's a trophy there. But when it's multiplayer, it's completely random. So let's join the server and see if we can find a good one. I'm going to look for a Blacktail server as I would really like to get a good black tail deer. So let's start with this one, and then if it doesn't work out, we will find some other ones. Well, it seems that we have found ourselves a max weight estimate black tail deer track. It seems like it's following the rest of these black tails, so I think if we keep going down here to this uh, lake, we might actually be able to find ourselves a half decent black tail. Really hoping so at least. It would be nice if we could just uh, find our diamond to win it this early and then be able to just hunt around for the rest of the time limit, but uh, that really doesn't happen very often in this series. I think it's only happened once or twice out of like 18 episodes or 17 episodes or however many it may have been. It's really not happened that often, so I'm expecting this to be a long one, just like 90% of them. Gosh, there is so many big bulls at this lake, but just no level fives. Like, there is a ton of great looking Roosevelt elk. We've got a few really nice fours. Well, I guess it's two really nice fours, but regardless, they're so close, yet just not quite big enough to be a level five, but they're still really good. I wish that we would just be able to find one at uh, this particular lake at some point, because I haven't seen a good diamond elk at this lake in ages. And I remember it was always one of the cooler places to take them. And nowadays, this is a pretty uh, popular lake to find lots of elk, even more than it used to be. What am I looking at? Okay, that is definitely not going to be a diamond, <laughs> but um, I have to have it. That thing is the weirdest elk I think I've ever seen in all of my time playing the Hunter Call of the Wild. I don't even quite know what I'm looking at right now, but it is, it is something special interesting weird i don't know what to call it but it's not normal that's for sure let's get this thing down i don't want to risk uh anybody else trying to take this thing before i get a shot at it so let's just uh, sink one into it from this distance and well somehow we did not hit vital organs i honestly don't know how that happened i mean i guess we did take a somewhat quick shot but still I would have expected that to have at least hit the spine. I mean, maybe it did. A actually, I think it did. I think we did end up hitting the spine. So yeah, that's unfortunate. We messed it up, but I mean, regardless, it's still gonna look good in the lodge. Still gonna be a very good looking trophy to put in our trophy lodge, regardless of where the shot was placed. Jeez, that is just such a weird looking elk, man. I've never seen anything quite like this. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Oh gosh, it's so... <laughs> I don't even know what to call this. That is the weirdest elk I've ever seen in Call of the Wild. I, I don't know what happened to this thing, but it doesn't look natural at all. And uh, yeah, that is worth putting in one of our trophy lodges. Even though it's not a diamond or a rare, that is still super cool. Super awesome trophy to find. I mean, just look at that. When you look at it from above, that is so twisted and squiggly. This is just a good example of like what Truex can do on rare occasions where it just makes something look so absurdly weird like this. I absolutely love it. I wish we could see more of this stuff because it is very rare. But uh, yeah, if we could, <laughs> if we could get, imagine a great one. Imagine a great one red deer with a twisty rack like this. It's technically possible. I wonder if one of these days we'll get one. I guess we'll have to keep grinding and see, but yeah, that is very, very interesting. 
And also before we move further into this episode, I did want to quickly mention something that I every once in a while get a comment about whenever I'm doing videos in multiplayer. There's some people that seem to think that the boxed out names mean that it's a cheater on the server. That's not the case. I know that that was something that some people suspected for a while due to some comments made by somebody in the uh, Call of the Wild community. Not going to name names as I am uh, cool with them and I, I don't want to bring any negative attention to their name. But uh, yeah, it's not actually a thing. I believe what the person was saying when they mentioned it was that that's what they've seen in their experience. However, that's not really what it is. So whenever you see a name that has those boxed out characters, that means that it's in a language that the game does not recognize. It's either in a language the game doesn't recognize or they have emojis in their name or some type of symbol that the game just can't actually put in there because it's not in the uh, the language files or whatever. And so that's what happens a lot of the times is, uh, for example, I have a few viewers who say that their name is in Chinese or Korean or something like that. and. The game doesn't actually pick it up, it shows up as those boxed out characters, so that is what causes that. I've seen countless comments about that in the last year, and I just wanted to clarify that for people that did not know. It's not a sign of somebody who's cheating, it's a sign of somebody whose name is in a different language, and in a lot of cases you'll notice that those people that have those boxed out names do speak different languages in chat, so it's not a matter of cheating, it's a matter of somebody who just has a different, uh, language in their name or a name that's in a different language i should say because believe it or not call of the wild is not translated into every language around there's quite a few languages the game is not available in so naturally whenever one of those languages is being used in the names or in the chat it's not going to show up as anything except some blocked out characters because the game doesn't recognize them but anyway, let's continue on the hunt as I just wanted to quickly mention that since there's been a lot of confusion around it during the last year or so, and I figured it was about time that I finally explained exactly what it is via something besides replying to a comment. As somebody who has played countless hundreds of hours in multiplayer, I've seen pretty much everything that you could possibly imagine from the servers that are just cheated to death and uh, other servers that are perfectly fine but the person has one of these names, it really does not indicate anything and I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows that. Don't go off of what the person's name is, go off of other things like what you're seeing on their server, whether it be weird levels that don't match up with the weight, or everything being a diamond, or people having a level above 60, those are indicators of cheats. A simple name that doesn't look normal is not an indicator of cheats, and in many cases, is just an indicator of a different language. And honestly, that last server was a very good example of that because there was literally nothing good on it the entire time besides that really weird and wonky elk. So I think that alone shows that that was not the case and that it is just a problem with languages the game doesn't recognize. Man, with only 21 minutes left on the clock, there's a pretty high chance we might end up having to spin the fail wheel and uh, get met with our punishment for losing the challenge, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to start picking it up, man. I don't know what we're gonna do to get this challenge won. We're gonna have to try something, because this just is not working. The elk aren't cooperating, the blacktail aren't cooperating. I don't know what else we can go for. I mean, maybe moose. Moose might be a good option, but it's gonna take a long time to find lots of moose, and... Man, I just don't know. It's looking like we might end up losing this one. We're running short on time. I mean, we've got another Maxway blacktail track. Maybe this will be the one? Every time that I've gone to this lake on any of these servers, I've found a Maxway Blacktail track, but none of them have been level 5s. I'm hoping that this will be the one, but it's very unlikely with our luck. Well, with less than 10 minutes left and nothing in sight, it's not looking good for us. That last server was a complete bust, so I joined another one. This one has a little bit of a better chance as it is a level 15 server, so a higher chance of the map not having been fully searched. We're gonna keep looking around. See if we can find anything notable, but as of now, it's not looking good. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? No, that's not what I want to see. That's a guaranteed troll level 5 moose. Oh my gosh, that's so unfortunate. And that estimate's about 10 points below diamond. Well, we're 
definitely not gonna win now. I don't see any way that we could possibly win this challenge, but we'll take that guy down anyway. He's on our way to the next location regardless, so it's not like we're gonna be wasting any time by claiming him, so let's just head over and we will uh, see how things go. It's just such a disappointment that our first max level of the day is a guaranteed troll, and a bad one at that. With uh, four and a half minutes on the clock, let's go ahead and claim this level five moose. Man, that is just such a disappointment. 264.37, it was at the top of its estimate, but still 10 points below diamond. That is quite the sad level five, to be honest. That is crazy. I mean, it is what it is. Can't win them all. And it looks like this is one that we will not win. The two minutes left on the clock. Whether or not we win this is all gonna depend on whether or not we can spot a diamond potential or rare within the next two minutes. As long as the clock hasn't expired, we can still get it down. Or I guess I should say, as long as we've spotted it before the clock expires, then we will have won the challenge, but it's not looking like that is gonna be the case. I happen to just pick the most dead area on the entire map. That's very unfortunate. I, I don't think we're gonna win this. I, I don't see this being a win for us. This is looking pretty bad. Well, it's looking like this is the end right here. The final thing that we see is a female moose who is now running away from us and it looks like we have failed the challenge. Yep. Yep, we failed the challenge. Well, that is very unfortunate. And that means that it's time to spin the fail wheel. And now comes the time where we have to spin the dreaded fail wheel and hope that we get one of the saved slots. And if we don't, we have to do whatever it tells us to do. So this is gonna be interesting, but let's go ahead and spin it and see what our fate is. Delete a male rare from the trophy lodge. Oh gosh, well, here we go. Time to go delete a rare. Well, here we go. It's time to delete a male rare from our trophy manager. The question is, which one do we go with? There is so many possibilities. I think I know what I want to get rid of, though. I've got a few gold male gems box that I could possibly delete once we get past all the six million red deer. So let's try to figure out what we're going to do here. I mean, gosh, it's so tough. I don't know. Definitely don't want to do either of our foxes. I think we are going to do a Gemsbok. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. Oh my gosh, this actually took way longer than I expected it to just to get down here and find it. So let's go ahead and delete this guy right here. A 256 scoring silver uh, gold fur type Gemsbok. Ah, it hurts. Even though we have quite a few of them, it, it really hurts. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of 60 Minute Trophy Challenge. This was quite a fun one, even though we ended up losing. We still found a very cool elk, and I'm pretty happy about that. So let me know what you guys want me to do in some of the future videos. Also, let me know if you enjoyed this video down in the comments below. And also, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. With that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Peace!